Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything uh, crochet and yarn related. Um, so if you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Um, and thank you if you are a returning friend for always talking yarn with me and stuff. And in the description box, I do have a playlist, playlist with over a thousand tutorials, crochet tutorials for you, all free for you to enjoy. So let's talk some yarn. So I have some mystery boxes from somewhere that I've never bought. Uh, I've never bought mystery boxes from before. It's actually a store, a yarn company that's about an hour and a half away from me. Um, I went to it one time, several years ago, I went to it. Um, I have a video about it. Um, it's in Fairview Heights, Illinois, um, and it's called The Bead Place. Like I said, I, I did visit it, I did make a video. Well, um, I looked on their website and I seen that they started selling mystery bags. So they had three, a $20 one, a $50 one, and I think a $100 one. And they had a place that you could put, like, if you were allergic to any type of fiber, if you had a favorite color, you know, like some little notes that you could, you know, type in to maybe they could try to accommodate your request. Um, but then I got an email back. They remembered me because when I was there, I had recorded a video and told them that, you know, that my channel name and everything that if they would be on it. Well, they remembered me and they said they were happy that um, I uh, purchased their mystery boxes and they wanted to offer a coupon code to all my friends here on YouTube if that was okay. And I said, sure, you can offer a coupon code. Now, it doesn't do anything for me. It's only for you. Um, so it'll get you 10% off their mystery boxes if you want, if you are interested. I'll put the code in the description box. Also, in the comment section, it'll be the very first comment. If you go to, and I'll put their website there. If you go there, now it only works on their mystery boxes, but... Um, and they said the code is good till the end of the year. So I thought that was really nice of them that it was cool that they remembered me and you know I and um, They offered uh, a coupon code for you guys. So that's amazing. So let's not talk more open, huh? Let's do it. All right. They ship you they shipped me UPS ground um, I got one of each mystery box so we can kind of take a look and see I told them I had no preference on fiber nor color that um, I had trouble using anything below a uh, four weight, but I, uh, you know, I could use some DK at that, you know, so it is a smaller, small business. So I remember, you know, it's been years since I've been there. So I might have to make a trip there again, <laughs> check it out. But, I love getting mystery boxes. They really taped it up good. <laughs> White duct tape on it. Oh, and box tape, both. They didn't want it coming undone. Okay. Sometimes opening the boxes wear me out. <laughs> Their tape's so good, what? Which is a good thing. Oh, it's stapled too. All right. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Let's see what we got. You guys are laughing at me watching this struggle. By all means, it's, I'd be laughing at myself too. Actually, I'll probably watch later at this part and laugh at myself too. <laughs> all right, it says, thank you so much, the beat plays. One hundred dollar mystery box, one fifty dollar mystery box, one twenty dollar mystery box. All right, exciting. Okay, I don't know which is which. All right, I can tell. I think right off the bat, I would assume the small one probably just is the uh, twenty dollar mystery box. So let's see what we got. This is probably the $20 one. Now remember, this is a small, <laughs> a small yarn company. So you can't expect the mystery boxes to be of those from a big box store, like Mary Maximum and stuff like that, or, you know, Hershner's or anything like that. But they probably will have higher end yarns. 
you know what I mean? I'm not certain. I'm just, from my experience with small business, small yarn companies and their mystery boxes, it's usually higher end yarns. You just get less of it because those yarns cost more money. All right, so this must be number $20. We'll see. Let's check it out. Comes in a little box here. Okay, so I got a couple little bonbons, KFI collection. I got a hank of frog tree. I've heard of that. Or a ball, I'm sorry. 100% merino, worsted weight, made in Peru. Smells like a yarn store. 50 grams, 101 yards. Gosh, that's a nice, uh, it's a nice merino. It feels good. I like the color. And then I got some Edrafil Bloom. That's some funky looking yarn there. It goes from thick to thin. Um, 100% acrylic. 50 grams. That'd be interesting to put like in a blanket that you're just kind of scrapping up, you know. And I got one more. This one too is interesting. This is a fifteen dollar ball of yarn, fifteen fifty, just for this one. Uh, it's that, and it is a fuzzy yarn with little pops of color in it, as you can see. It's very soft. So that again would be interesting to mix with another like three weight yarn or something of a you know of similar color value three weight or something. See what you could come up with. That's nice. That's soft. All right, that was the twenty dollar box. So this has a price tag of fifteen fifty. This has a price tag of eight dollars. This has a price tag of eight dollars. And these are two fifty a piece. So there you go. <clears throat> From their shop that's over twenty dollars value all right let's go to the medium one i like the boxes they put in there it's nice all right so this one would be 50 bucks but if you use coupon code you get to get 10 percent off Okay, we got some more little guys. I like bonbons though. <clears throat> They're neat to make granny squares with and then put them together. Three bonbons. So I'll add them to my other ones. Oh, another bonbon. Okay, I have some. <clears throat> Remember, I told them that I had, you know, that I needed thicker weight yarn. So um, this is called <clears throat> Katina. Flash, $19 at their shop for that ball. That's pretty. <clears throat> I like that one a lot. I love yarns like that. Look at that roving style. It's nice. It's bulky. That's very, very pretty. I like that one. Mm, smells like a yarn store. It smells like a yarn store. One ball will make a hat. You know what? That's probably what I'll do with it. 47% acrylic. 53% wool, limited edition. I like it, it's very pretty. I like the colors. That'd be an interesting hat. Um, and then I got, this is called Queenland's Collection. It's a $9 ball of yarn. Um, merino spray, 100% extra fine merino wool. Ooh, my favorite color, green. It's very soft, very squishy. What do we got on here? It's probably a DK. I don't know. Could be a four, I guess. I like it. it's got that wash look on it. So that's that one. I like Queensland. It's a nice yarn. Plymouth. Plymouth. Oh, it's the bumpies. Plymouth Excess. Never had this one before. This is a $13 ball of yarn. 
from their store. Made in Peru. 100% pure wool. Mm, I love that. I make a <clears throat> cool looking hat too as well. I'm not a huge fan of the bumpies though. If you know what I mean by the bumpies. Sometimes I am. It really depends on the yarn. This one looks like it would be okay. I like the colors in it. It's pretty fall looking. Very pretty. Very smells clean. This one's on. This one's. Mmm. That's just like a boucle. Um, Plymouth yarn, a baby alpaca, Altima. Tip, it's 90% baby alpaca, 10% nylon. It's very soft. I like alpaca. Um, this is $16 ball of yarn. It's Plymouth yarns. So, yeah, it's a boucle if you like that type of yarn. The color is very pretty. See that? Make it pretty cool looking. I don't know, scarf or something. Mm -hmm. I got one more ball here of Shalana again. A rodeo. Is this what I got last time? I did. I got another ball of this, only a different color. That's yeah, it's a $15.50 ball of yarn. This one is the, it's purples and grays. I do like this. I think, like I said, it would be cool to mix it with another. A value, three weight or something. It would be easier to use. But make a nice halo on your project. That's super soft. <clears throat> so that was my $50 box. Well... Let's check out this $100 box, mystery box of yarn. Oh, man. Wouldn't it be cool if I didn't throw the box, too. All right, so here's that $100 box. I've seen some, I've seen some familiar yarns and some that I've never seen before. I always like to look at yarns that I've never got before. So this will be, you know, every mystery box is going to be different. You know, you won't get exactly what I got, but because that's how they rule. But, it, like I said, it did have a spot that you could put what, uh, you know, fibers and stuff and colors and whatnot you like. I just kind of pulled a few things, just thicker yarns, because that's what I like to work with. Ooh. So I got, I like, they just put the little kind of, you know what this reminds me of? It's like, it reminds me of like one of those candy or food boxes you get for Christmas, and then they got those little red hard candies kind of shoved in there. That's what these little bonbons for. Quite a few little bonbons there now. I like that. Okay, so why don't we look at out, see what we got here. Um... <clears throat> we got some Plymouth yarn, a baby alpaca grande. I have some of this at home, only in a copper color. 100% um, baby alpaca. It's nice, super soft. It's bulky yarn. It's a $21 ball of yarn at their shop. Remember, it's a small yarn company, so I like that. I mean, that feels so soft. I like what I got at home, too. I just haven't decided what to make with it. That's pretty. It's a periwinkle color. Be a nice hat. Okay. Um, I have some Plymouth yarn Encore Chunky. Had this before. It's a seven dollar ball of yarn at their shop. Seventy five acrylic, twenty five wool. Um, imagine that's five weight chunky. I like the tweed, the uh, heathered look to that purple. That's nice. That's pretty. Feels fine. I feel like wool blend. I like to make hats, so I, whenever I buy, I always say that's hat making material for me. <laughs> when I get one ball of yarn at a time, oh, that's just, it's just eleven dollar ball of yarn. Trendsetter yarns, Zucca, made in Italy. Fifty eight percent tactile, forty two percent polyamide. All right, so this is super super soft, but super. It's gonna be like furry. It's like a furry boucle, kind of, or velvet, or it's a novelty. Oh, that's really soft, though. Make it look. I don't know what I would do with that. I have to think about that. Sometimes novelty yarns take a little bit of thinking. Okay, 
And we got this one again, that brand. This is $15 and 50 cent ball of yarn at their shop. 50% uh, merino, 25% alpaca, 25% polyamide. Chunky weight. I like the color. One of my favorite greens. It's nice. I like it. I like it. Feels fine. Pretty. Pretty. Hmm. Queensland. Queensland collection. There you go. I'm never good at pronouncing anything. Um, this is colorful cotton blend, 190 yards, cut, uh, 60 cotton, 40 acrylic blend, medium weight number four. So this is pretty. It's a chain spun cotton acrylic. It's a nice four weight. Yep. Feels good. Color's pretty. Like it, like it. Very pretty. Okay. Still looking. Plymouth yarn. Europa Tweed. I like that. I like that one. Is that the same as the other one? No. That's pretty. That's my style of yarn. That's beautiful. That's a $9 ball of yarn at their shop. 70 cent, 70 wool, 20 acrylic, 10 rayon. I hope I read that right. I'm reading it backwards. It's pretty. Rowing style. Chunky. Weight. 5 weight. 25 and 6 weight. I like that. Feels fine. One day I'm going to take all these single balls that I get from mystery bags and make a really awesome, amazing textured scrap blanket with some of these these interesting ones you get from I that I get from mystery boxes and some other, some other ones that you know that are not you know that are just regular yarns. Add them to it, you know. I have a lot of mystery boxes. That you know they only give you one ball of each and i think it'd be interesting to make a blanket out of it this is katina krita krita yarn ten dollar ball at their shop so again that's not going to be for everybody that's going to go from thick to thin it's a beautiful color though i like that this is a cotton acrylic polyamide blend feels good goes from thick yeah thick to thin it's got the bumpies thick then down to the thin. Mm -hmm. Nice. We got some glitzy. That's a $21 ball of yarn at their shop. I it's very pretty. That's some sparkling yarn. And look at that halo on it. Let's see. This is 153 or yeah, 153 yards of 60 polyamide, 30 mohair, 10% uh, metallic. Oh, it's made by Knitting Fever, like trendsetter kind of. That is cool. Look at that. I will. Probably, let's see. I can't keep all this yarn. I actually have a box of yarn from mystery boxes that I've only gotten one ball in, and I'm saving them up for something. But um, not for myself, for for somebody else. But um, um, I might keep one or two of these. This one, I think I'm going to keep this one. I don't know. To me, that's really awesome. I love the sparkle. I'm going to have to pick a favorite. So far, this is my favorite. I love the halo. I would definitely make a hat out of this one. That's what I would do with it. I got enough to make a hat. That's super cool, man. <laughs> okay. And then we have some Adrophil. Um, it's 100% Lana, Lana Marino version wool. Pretty. Look at the colors in that one. Those are all my, Oh, I love that. That's very, very beautiful ball yarn. I love the colors. I th 
think that would that would that would felt up. You know, it's not bad. It's really squishy. Um, it's a four weight yarn. I like that. I like that. I like the colors on that one. Hmm. I'm trying to decide which ones I'm going to keep. <clears throat> oh, we got some Aracuna. I love Aracuna. <clears throat> this is a $17 hank of yarn at their shop. I've never seen this one. This is called Linga. It's 62 cotton, 19 silk, 19 microfiber. 100 grams. That's beautiful. It's so shiny. It's got the bumpies though. Oh, look at that color. Like, that's really pretty. It's really shiny. Um, it's almost like iridescent looking. If you hit it at a different angle, it goes like from peach to orange. That's really cool. Um, it is a bulky weight yarn. I don't have enough here, though. I don't think to make a hat. But I could put it in. No, I'll put it. I love this. I do. But I'll, I'll put it in uh, my box of... That's cool. I like it how when you turn it a different way, it looks like a different color. Like it's a hologram. Holographic. That's pretty. It's a pretty anchor yarn. Nice. Okay, I got that. One more here. This is called, ooh, and it's my colors, Wooly Soft Stripes. It's a $17 ball of yarn. Um, it is, I don't know. I've never had that. But it's very pretty. It's very much my colors. <laughs> I like that. Um, it's 175 yards, 52 wool, 48 acrylic. Okay, it's knitting fever. Again, look at the colors. Such a bulky weight, too. Nice, nice. They uh, really uh, kept up with the weights that I said I liked. That's beautiful. All right. So, I liked my mystery boxes. And, you know, remember, they are a small yarn company. So, um, you can't expect tons of yarn. But the yarns that they do sell are higher in yarns. I told you the price that they sell them at their store for. So I definitely got my money's worth. Um, I think I will keep this one. I really, really like this one. Um, I think probably for a hat more than likely. I don't know. Definitely keeping this one for a hat. That's one's $21 to shop. That's so cool. That one is super amazing. I, it's going to have such a cool halo and all that sparkle and running through it. I'm going to be blinging. And um, now I like everything that I got. And I think what they sent is worth everything. Worth more, you know. But I can't keep it all. So I might keep if I have enough. I really like this one. I could probably squeeze a hat out of that. A basic double crochet beanie. I like the colors in it. Nah, I won't keep that. I don't need that. I'm going to keep one of these, though. I don't know which one. These are my style. Probably just one. But, yeah. The rest, I like I said, I have a box over here full of uh, mystery box yarns that are, you know, just one or two balls of each color. Um, and I'm going to do something with it. I like it. I like what I got. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm keeping... As much as I like to keep this one, I think I'll, the Aracuna, it's beautiful. I think I'll put that over here for a special surprise. So, I got three that, I like, that are my favorites. This one's my favorite, definitely. Definitely, it's going to be a hat. This one's my second favorite. It's beautiful. All right, I like everything that I got. I think that it was just fine for what they're asking you know especially considering it's a small yarn shop everything was packed really nice in their boxes um it came in a timely manner so yeah i would purchase from them again and remember to look in the comment section um at the very first comment i'll put a link to the store and that discount code of 10 percent off of the mystery boxes that said that uh it lasts all year so thank you everybody for watching beat place if you're watching thank you i love everything that i got 
It's very nice. Um, and I'm going to come up and visit your store again someday soon. I'll make a video there too. Um, so everybody else can see. All right. I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care. Bye guys.